Anthropic just released model context protocol. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up and start using it right away by connecting it to the Claude desktop app. My plan is to teach Claude how to perform queries against databases and even insert new products like a cool drone into them. Then we grant it access to web searches and enable it to read and write local files, allowing us to conduct research and save the results directly to our desktop. Okay. But what is MCP? At a very high level, MCP is a way to seamlessly connect AI assistants, like Claude, to various data sources. This includes databases, cloud storage, your local file system, and virtually any tool you can imagine. Here's a look at the core architecture of MCP. The MCP host, like Claude Desktop, connects to MCP servers using the MCP protocol. Each server is specialized to interact with either local resources like databases or files on your computer or remote resources like APIs on the internet. MCP might sound complex, but it's really just a smart way to connect Claude Desktop to local files or online resources. Let's build a simple example together to see it in action. We start directly on the introduction page where we see the explanation. MCP is an open protocol that enables seamless integration between LLM applications and external data sources and tools. To get started with MCP, we look at the quick start guide where we set up a local SQLite database. We connect Claude Desktop with this database to insert and query data with Claude Desktop using the MCP protocol to access the database through an MCP server. We first need a populated database, so we copy the command that creates a small SQLite database with a products table containing items like webcams and drones. We save the database in a local file named testdb. Let's see if the file has been created successfully. OK, it looks good. We can look at the file with an SQLite client. We can see what tables exist, only products. We can also display the entire contents of products, and we see that we have the various items there. Good. Now we need to establish the connection between the SQLite database and Claude. For this, we need to modify a file named Claude Desktop JSON. We have to add a MCP server that allows to connect to SQLite databases. For this, we look at the quick start guide and copy the corresponding configuration which specifies that the SQL MCP server is started via the UVX command. We still need to specify the path where our test database is located. And after we've done that, we should already be able to connect with Claude Desktop. For this, we download Claude Desktop, in my case, the Mac version. We start Claude Desktop and say, please show me all tables in the database. Claude asks if it may execute list tables on SQLite, and then again if it may capture the structure of the tables. We allow it. Next, we want to ask it how much a drone costs according to the database. We are asked again if read query can be executed. And we see the correct answer that a mini drone costs $299. Now we want to try something else. Namely, we want to ask it to make a new entry in the database. In this case, a huge drone that should cost $999. We are asked again if the query may be executed. And indeed, it confirms that the new product has been added. We can test this now. We start our SQLite 3 client again and retrieve all products in the database. And at the very bottom, we now see the huge drone for $999. Perfect. Next, we want to see what other MCP services there are. Here we have, for example, file system to access the local file system, both reading and writing. To test it, I copy the configuration and also add it to the Claude desktop config. Like last time, I simply copy and paste it directly into the configuration file. Now Claude can access my local file system. Next, I also want to have the ability to search the web. And for this, there is already the Brave Search MCP server. Here too, I copy the configuration and paste it below the other configurations. 
Now Claude should be able to perform searches on the web and write any files to the shared folders. Before we can test the search, however, I still need the API key from Brave, which we quickly get from the website. The good thing is that the first 2,000 queries are free. We click on API keys and create a new API key. We give it a name, copy it, and then paste it into the Brave configuration. It will then be available as an environment variable. After Claude is restarted, I can first ask if Claude is able to access my desktop. After I've confirmed that this may happen, it says yes, it can access my desktop. Now I connect this with the search and ask it to please search for the Anthropic article about MCP and save a summary on my desktop. We see that it uses Brave Search to search for corresponding articles. Claude is clever enough to adapt the query to find precisely what it needs to create a summary. After it has found results, it asks me if it may save this on the desktop as mcpsummary.txt and we already see how an article was created. We see here how it actually compiled a text file with the most important points. We can also go a step further and have Claude edit the article directly again. For example, we can ask it to add references, meaning to include the URLs in the document where it found the information. Okay, and it has updated the document. I'll probably use these new features a lot in the future. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments.